It's the treasury. The door is closed. Uh oh. I suppose I should have expected that. It's a trap. Impressive. I wonder if the masters know about this collection. A lot of treasure. Let's save the game. It's treasury. And what's this? Dies. A circular dais occupies the center of the treasury. Enchanted this dagger. This must be the enchanted dagger the priestess mentioned. Okay. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Natani Efici. The relief depicts Natani, god king of the Salmoni. Those other two are his daughters. They are presenting an open clamshell, which is meant to be laden with treasures. Oh, what's this crystal ball? A crystal ball. They're harder to use than they look. A chest for all manner of keepsakes, not necessarily the priestesses. Wow, monkey figures. A set of three monkeys in a string of familiar poses. Treasure. I imagine that is a lot of money. A lot of treasure. What's a book? A book lies open on the crate. Golden a heart. A heart of gold. Obviously not Ammon Cools. Of course. Silver, silver chalice. Cup. The priestess knows what she likes. Nice. Crystal. A massive prism hangs above the dais. Yeah, gives illumination there. A three-headed serpent, better known as a hydra. Of course. Hydra. Winged a statue. marble recreation of a northern wingolin. Nasty creatures. The wall shell supports a delicate crystal sconce. I wonder who's missing that now. Would you, uh, looks like a sorting hat from Harry Potter. Vaz. It is an ornate foreign vase, probably from West Elliewold. The relief depicts not a knot. All right, let's pick up the uh, enchanted dagger. Hopefully, no, there's no no death traps attached to it. The dagger. I can't take it. What trickery is this? Oh my gosh. It's an illusion. The Guardian of the Canyon. In the land south of the Crimson Canyon, <clears throat> there was once a great treasure of unimaginable wealth. It was said to have been left behind by the elements to tempt and test those who would claim to claim it. To protect this trove, a hydra a serpent of three heads, stood guard. Many tried to pass. None succeeded. One day, a man entered the canyon and approached the beast. He asked it, Noble creature, to whom do I address? Your death, hissed the reply, should you choose to come closer. I do not, said the man, but if it pleases you, I would know you better. A trio of forked tongues flicked forth. No one since the reckoning has sought this of us. Know us now. One sees the ant upon the mountain. One hears the beating of a moth's wings. One speaks not but the silkiest words. Only these are a whole. The man considered this. Would a gift suffice in exchange for allowing me to pass? It would, said the speaker of the three, if all are appeased. The man went away and returned some time later, carrying a basket. Placing it before the beast, he pulled it from, from it three small monkeys. Upon touching the ground, one covered its eyes with its hands, the others its ears, and the last its mouth. He offered each one carefully to the hungry heads. In an instant, the animals were consumed by the serpent. The man waited. A chorus of gasps followed. 
I cannot see. I cannot hear. The third head said nothing, its eyes wide with horror as it joined the other two in frenzied thrashing. The man calmly picked up the basket and stepped past the serpent, where all the wealth in the world lay waiting. When he returned to his land, his people prospered from his success for many generations. This is why the wooden shields borne by those of the canyon depict three simians set above the drooping heads of a sea serpent. All right, so first we need to find the treasure, the hydra, the monkeys, and the shield. Let's look at the uh, items here in this treasure room. Not all of them were specifically ones we need. So first we need to look at the treasure. I imagine that is a lot of money. Okay, got the treasure. Then we look at the hydra. A three-headed serpent better known as a hydra. Then we look at the monkey statues. A set of three monkeys in a string of familiar poses. Okay, and we'll look at the shield. I cannot tell what the crest depicts from here, but I think I can make out a three-headed serpent. That's pretty straightforward, guys. I think we know what we, we need to do now. In order to get this magical jagger... This must be the enchanted dagger the priestess mentioned. That we it's can't... Beautiful. It's very beautiful, but we can't grab it because every time we reach out to grab it, it disappears because the dagger. it. I can't take it. It's an illusion. What trickery is this? All right then, and I believe it's beyond this wall. This stone block is a more recent addition to the wall. So it's not part of the wall. We know that this. This wall, extra wall, needs to be a, this stone block needs to be removed. So let's uh, adjust the dais. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's examine it first. Always good to examine your 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 room before you meddle with it. A circular dais occupies the center of the treasure. The circular dais. Okay. So now we need to adjust it. And first, we need uh, order of business. We need to point our crystal up here a massive prism hangs above the dais this Chris this prism shines light on the items that we need to highlight okay this is part of a puzzle let's move our crystal to the direction of the treasure then we press activate I think it, I think I heard a gong and then we go to the Hydra press the button I heard a gong as well then we choose the monkeys the monkey statue press the gong and finally last but certainly not least we need to highlight the shield and press the activate button Ding ling ling, we got it guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh yeah, that's how it feels to get that puzzle solved. Solve this game, save this game as Guardian of the Canyon. Replace, yes. And we will what's this? A mirror? There's a remarkable depth to the mirror's reflection. Apparently we have to examine this mirror. And walk through it's a portal to a parallel okay, universe that's weird oh wow that is, is the weird. priestess toying with me oh my god this must be the enchanted dagger the priestess mentioned oh my god it's it's a dagger it's beautiful can we get it this time got it oh yeah Examine it. Check the dagger for the cutting of cursed hair. That dagger is as sharp as it looks. If it's as magical as the priestess claims, then who knows what damage it could do. Oh, wow. We got the magic dagger, folks. We got it. 
Okay, let's go to the mirror. Save the game. I'm a cold car dagger. <clears throat> let's get out of here. We got what we need. The keyhole has a distinctive <coughs> asymmetrical shape. What the hell? You're telling me that I need a key? The prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. Oh, of course. This little thingamajig here. It makes a good back scratcher. This is what we need to as the key. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. All right then. Let's use the the key on the door. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. Oh, are you tell me you have to readjust it? You gotta be kidding me here. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do with this thing? It makes a good back scratcher. Oh, of course. The mirror room. It's a parallel world. It's a parallel world. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? I'm back here. All right. You take this little key and we put it back here. I can't use that. I oh, of course. It makes a good back scratcher. Let's use this on the revert inverted door. Yeah, that's how it's done. This is the mirror world. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The device I collected from the floor appears ah. to match up, but there's one cylindrical prong missing. Now what the heck is I supposed to do with that now? The key clearly doesn't fit this lock. Oh my god. One thing after another, man. It makes the giftless happy. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The device I collected from the floor <sighs> appears to match up, but there's one cylindrical prong missing. It makes a good back scratcher. Oh my god. I know better than to meddle with a god king and his family. Okay, okay. I don't see the point of turning that in here. You're giving me, you're giving me a real challenge game.
How about the dagger on the strange device? These two items do nothing together. Okay. It makes a good. It makes. A Door. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. I can't you Can we do something to make this door work? The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The device I collected from the floor appears to match up, but there's one cylindrical prong missing. Hmm. How about this? Um, These two metal pole. These two items do nothing together. All right, that won't work. The chest isn't locked. What's not locked? Apparently there's something but in of here. Of course, it's empty. Ah, oh, man. But maybe there's something in here. In the mirror, the regular world, the non-mirror world. Of course. Aha! There is a sapphire brooch inside. A sapphire inside, brooch inside. Encrusted with four smaller stones. What is this thing? It wouldn't really go with my tunic. It is pretty though. Would it go with the treasure? It would it wouldn't with, really would it go with the key? These two items do nothing together. How about this vase? I don't want to know what the priestess keeps in there. Alright. It wouldn't really go with my tunic. All right. Let's look at the door again. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The prongs on this strange device do not match up. Not match up with the door. So can I go to the other back to the door again? this key again the keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape the device I collected from the floor appears to match up but there's one cylindrical prong missing where I'm gonna find the miss the missing prong the key. The device I. I can't use. Can't use the item there. All right. Save the game as I'm gonna call dagger. So. I was looking around on YouTube and I think I found some 
I found where the missing piece is. So we gotta go to the drain. I think I can see a glint. Aha! A glint, eh? What is it? There's a short length of metal inside. It seems to be a piece of something. We got it. It's as cold as steel. All right, let's put it in the missing key. Um, the the missing piece into the key component. There, the yes. prong fits securely into the little hole on the device. Yes. Finally, save the game. Nice. Excellent. Insert it into the keyhole. Open sesame. Cold dagger. What happens if I go through the mirror world, though? I don't want to explore the world beyond the mirror treasury. Having to deal with two priestesses would not be fun. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Better just stay focused on the on the goal ahead. So we've achieved it, guys. We've achieved the the dagger, and we have a means of escaping our treasure room. The treasure room. Amun calls treasure room. Let's get out of here and ret return the. Tr well, ret uh, show the blade to Amun Cole. <laughs>